It's been a while since I made an iceberg video, so today I bring you the Zoo Tycoon Iceberg, which is made up of facts and trivia relating to the games. These will of course be ranked from most known to least known. Let's just get started. The Sky Zoo Tycoon This was, of course, the first ever game in the series, released on October 17th, 2001. It allows you to build your own zoo with a variety of 45 animal species. These include the zebra, hippopotamus, chimpanzee, polar bear, okapi, mandrill, giant panda, lion, and so many more. You also have a variety of buildings and scenery to place. There are two modes in it, freeform and the scenarios. A proper sandbox mode was not made for this game, which I'll talk about shortly. It was developed by Blue Fang Games, who would, of course, develop the series further due to this one's popularity. Dino Digs This was the first expansion for Zoo Tycoon, released on May 19th, 2002. It has the same gameplay, of course, with the added bonus of bringing back dinosaurs, and possibly letting them loose to cause havoc. While you did get a few Ice Age creatures like the Sabertooth Tiger and Woolly Mammoth, the main draw was, of course, the dinos. The selection was pretty impressive, including the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus, Herrerasaurus, Kentrosaurus, Plesiosaurus, Spinosaurus, and a load of others. Marine Mania This was the second expansion for Zoo Tycoon, which was released on October 17, 2002, exactly one year after the initial game. You can now make your own aquatic park with marine shows and all, so theoretically you can recreate Blackfish with this. Not only does this game include the Orca, but also the Narwhal, Great White Shark, Giant Squid, Green Moray Eel, and even the Humpback Whale. Complete Collection This combined the first three games all in one, while also including bonus online content. Complete Collection was released on August 12, 2003, and was a version of the game to get. Some scenarios were even included that allow you to make hybrid zoos of marine and dino parks together. Zoo Tycoon 2 with the success of the first game, of course we got a sequel. Released on November 9th, 2004, it received good reviews and changed the style from pixelated CG to full-on computer animation. It introduced a first-person mode and a better system for the scenarios. It includes 30 animals, most of which you would expect, like the lion, grizzly bear, chimpanzee, moose, and cheetah. But some new ones are featured, like the Nile crocodile, common peafowl, red panda, and the ring-tailed lemur. Endangered Species This was the first expansion for the second game, released on October 15, 2005. Not only did it include 20 new animals, but various new scenarios and gameplay additions. This would be the adding of transport rides like Jeep Tours and Sky Trams. And the animal choices were superb, like the Komodo Dragon, Galapagos Giant Tortoise, Crested Gibbon, Koala, Wolverine, and the Florida Panther. Also, all animals were given badges to indicate their conservation status from low risk to vulnerable, endangered, and critically endangered. African Adventures Another expansion released on May 16, 2006 focused on African safaris and new creatures. A lot of them were ones that I'm surprised weren't included in the base game like the mandrill, wildebeest, striped hyena, and the common warthog. And they include new interesting animals into the franchise like the caracal, now Monitor, Ethiopian Wolf, Meerkat, and the Galata. Besides that and some new themed objects, not much else is really added to this one. Marine Mania 2 This was another expansion and the spiritual sequel to the first game's Marine Mania. Released on October 17, 2006, it has the same premise of making an aquatic park and creating shows, but with a much better system for that. The new animals included were the Pacific Walrus, Goblin Shark, Bottlenose Dolphin, Leatherback Sea Turtle, Rock Hopper Penguin, and California Sea Lion. Extinct Animals This was a final expansion for the second game, where not only could you build dino enclosures, but for a variety of other extinct animals too. But I do think the dinosaur selection is kind of lacking, by only including around 10. Like, there isn't even a Spinosaurus, Sauropod, or Duckbill dinosaur, or even like aquatic creatures. But you do get new additions like the Carnotaurus and Utah Raptor. Other animals included are the Aurochs, Dodo, Short-Faced Bear, American Mastodon, Nemetrodon, and the Dwarf Sicilian Elephant. It includes loads of new features like fossil building, cloning, and the ability to hunt down rampaging dinos. Ultimate Collection 
The final version of Zoo Tycoon ever released, put out on September 30th, 2008, not only did it include the base game and the four expansions, but other content as well. A bit of controversy occurred due to a manufacturing issue with the disc. You see, the third disc was exactly the same as the second, and these had to be replaced. This also happened to be the first game to be licensed by Ubisoft, which was done by Microsoft. Zoo Tycoon Xbox This is the forgotten failed reboot to the Zoo Tycoon franchise, released on November 22, 2013. It was developed by Microsoft and Frontier Studios, who made quite a lot of changes. First of all, I do have to mention that the game looks really damn good, along with a few of the mechanics, but everything else fell flat. The animal selection sucked and the exhibits came pre-made. Also, the menu was stupidly clustered and it felt dumbed down. It received mostly mixed reviews and, in my opinion, ruined the franchise. Planet Zoo this was a semi-reboot to the franchise, released on November 5th, 2019. It was developed by Frontier, who had previously worked on Planet Coaster. It's a really well-done game with a variety of good animals and genuinely fun scenarios that really challenge you. It took the only good elements of the Xbox game and combined it with the quality and nostalgia of the first two games. It receives updates to this day along with other bonus content being released quite often. Tip of the Iceberg Planet Zoo DLCs Piggybacking off the previous entry, this is referring to all the content packs released after the Planet Zoo base game. The first would be the Arctic pack, released around Christmas 2019, which people mostly got because of the polar bear. The other packs, in order of release, are the South America pack, Australia pack, Aquatic pack, Southeast Asian animal pack, African pack, North American animal pack, Europe pack, Wetlands animal pack, and the Conservation pack. These usually cost $10 and come with a few new animals and various new bits of foliage and building pieces, but the animal packs are my favorite, especially the North American one for including the moose, California sea lion, American alligator, and quite a few others. Endangered Species Pack This was a pack made available online around the time Complete Collection came out. It of course included new buildings and scenery, along with animals such as the Pregwalski's wild horse, Komodo dragon, orangutan, and Bigfoot for some odd reason. Downloadable Animals Both games featured other downloadable content, including the new creatures to add to your zoo. With the first game, there was the option of the Yeti, Reindeer, Llama, and Mountain Lion. The second game had four main ones, being the Musk Ox, Addix, Black Leopard, and the Asian Elephant. Website This is where all that downloadable content could be accessed from. It launched right when the first game did, included links to buying it. With the second game and its expansion packs releasing, more was added, like mini games. But after the Xbox game released, typing the URL redirects you to the Microsoft site advertising that game, so all that content on it is lost, besides screenshots and the like being available on the internet wayback machine. Blue Fang's Closure Blue Fang was the studio behind these games, the Zoo Tycoon being their first ever project. It was founded in 1998 by Adam Levesky and John Wheeler in Waltham, Massachusetts. However, in 2011, Blue Fang's contract to Microsoft ended, motivating them to close its doors. Microsoft would buy them out and continue the franchise of another developer. Frontier Developments This was that developer who teamed up with Microsoft to make the Xbox Zoo Tycoon game. The original version of the company was founded in 1994 in Britain. But a second studio would open in Nova Scotia in 2012, but that would close in 2015. They are mainly known for their contributions to the Roller Coaster Tycoon games, some Wallace and Gromit games, and Jurassic World Evolution. Eventually, they would release Planet Zoo, which is still going strong for them. Research Panel This is a weird addition to the first game, which allows you to unlock certain items. You have to put zoo funding into these, and you can adjust the speed in which it takes to research. Things obtained through this are new shelters, enrichment items, animal houses, staff training, varied foliage, and new creatures. In fact, this is the main way to obtain such creatures as the narwhal, giant panda, okapi, spinosaurus, apatosaurus, and the T-Rex. Kids Map This is a strange map which came with the Marine Mania and Complete Collection version. You start off with however much money and everything is already unlocked for you even the researchable items I just mentioned, and the moment you run out of money, it replenishes you for it. This is the only reminiscence of a sandbox mode, which is a shame because this map should have been bigger and have a nice grassy look. 
holiday occurrences. During certain holidays, various strange figures will fly over your park. However, these only occur if your zoo is actually open. On September 17th, a biplane will fly overhead with a flag containing the Blue Fang logo. It's pretty cool, but it's supposed to be doing on October 17th instead of September because October 17th is when the first game was released. On October 31st, a witch on a broom and some bats will fly overhead. What's also neat is that just for that day, a jack-o'-lantern item will be placeable in your park. The same will occur with the Christmas tree and snowman, which are available on December 25th. Santa and his sleigh will also fly over your park. Another way to get that tree, though, is by placing nine reindeer in your zoo, which is an obvious reference. Finally is the American flag, which is a downloadable item found online. Similarities to Jurassic Park Speaking of references, this game has a lot of them relating to Steven Spielberg's big 1993 hit film, Jurassic Park. These mainly just relate to some of the scenarios included with Dino Digs. First is one simply titled Jurassic Zoo, where you must place all seven available creatures that came from the Jurassic period. It seems to take place in an abandoned park with deteriorated exhibits. Then there's the two scenarios relating to Dinosaur Island, which takes place in a similar location. And no, this has no connection to that Wolf Tracer movie starring Mark Hamill. Finally, the game's wiki for the Velociraptor states that it can open doors with its claws, and it lacks feathers in this game, something that would later be added to the raptors in the second game. Shallow Waters Zookeeper Collection This was sort of like a beta version of Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection, as it just had the base game, Endangered Species, and African Adventures. It was released on October 1st, 2006 and quickly got overshadowed. In the comments below, let me know if you had this version of the game. Dino Danger Pack Another easily forgotten release from the second game. It was released sometime in July 2006 via the website. You can only buy it using credit card, and for 5 bucks. The game includes new items and 4 deadly dinos, which was sort of a teaser to extinct animals. It had this Dirachosaurus, Carnotaurus, Triceratops, and the T-Rex. There was also a scenario included which had no prize, sadly. The designs would later be changed to compare more with the other dinos seen in extinct animals. Quagga This is one of two hidden animals included in Zoo Tycoon 2 Extinct Animals. You're able to collect fossils for it at level 2, once reaching 1.5 stars. But this means you can only obtain it through the Extinct Research Lab. To fully unlock it, you must release every other extinct animal to the wild, which is really easy to do in sandbox mode. And it's incredibly similar to the common zebra, as they cost the same and can even crossbreed. Scenario Rewards This is referring to various items you can unlock in the second game with these scenarios. The base game had pretty lackluster ones like the Gilded Panda statue, but others released with the expansions were much better. These include the Endangered Breeding Center, Cat Climbing Rock, Blue Whale Hall, Brachiosaurus Slide, Extinct Theme Objects, and many more. These were usually difficult to get unless you are a more experienced player. Mermaid This is a creature only made available by sheer stupidity. By placing a mermaid statue in an exhibit tank, it magically comes to life. It's considered an actual species in the zoo, and you must place its specific foliage down. The statue, mind you, only becomes unlockable in December of year 1. Elephant Seal Statue This is one of a few unlockable objects in the first game I'll mention. This one is obtained by winning the Zoo of the Year award, which you get by just making a large zoo with lots of happy animals. The item is simply titled Seal Statue, but resembles the Northern Elephant Seal as featured in the game. Photo Booth This is an unlockable building which you get by completing the scenario Shark World. It's pretty easy, as all you do is just make suitable exhibit for all the sharks which they give you for free. Show Grandstand 2 this is pretty much just a new paint job for the normal show grandstand, nothing special. You unlock it by winning the aquatic show park scenario, which just involves you opening multiple marine shows and making a profit. Commercials Various strange videos will be made throughout the 2000s to advertise the Zoo Tycoon games. First that comes to mind is this one for a complete collection, where various animals become squatters in this family's home. Oh, and here's a young Belle Delphine playing with a dead squid. A 2007 one for Zoo Tycoon 2 Extinct Animals takes place in a classroom. This one genius comes up and just shows the most realistic Dodo interpretation ever. Then this little show-off just brings a laptop and starts showing off for Zoo, which is clearly moving on its own. 
And then the T-Rex shows up outside, about to recreate the Jurassic Park scene where it eats the lawyer. The final one I'll mention is for Ultimate Collection, where a bunch of furries talk about what they want to eat, and then they come together as a dolphin shows off her zoo. You know, I haven't seen Dodo in a long time. Hey guys, got some food? Let me guess. Bamboo shoots. I got you fish. Oh, I can't get enough of fish. I love fish. Aren't you a fish? I'm a mammal dude, just like you. Look it up. Demos. The first two games included demos, released around the same time as their respective games. The first one gave you a limited option for buildings and scenarios, and the only staff you could place are zookeepers and maintenance workers. For animals, all you can place are males of the lion, reticulated giraffe, Bengal tiger, and Thompson's gazelle. For the second game, it was the same sort of deal, though the animal selection this time had the Thompson's gazelle, dromedary camel, common peafowl, and Bengal tiger. I'm mainly aware of this one as it's the version Critical plays in a hilarious 2012 video of his. The poor people at Fisting Festival are certainly getting their money's worth today. I hope you've had time to really contemplate what you've done, Hanny. Now that there's around 40 tigers in there, I hope you make a few friends. Diving in. Ultimate Animal Collection. This is an updated version of the Xbox game with better graphics, updated gameplay elements, and a few new animals. It was released on October 31st, 2017 with much better reviews. Though many, even myself, didn't even hear about it. The new animals included are mainly ones from South America and Australia, like the kangaroo, jaguar, and koala. Cretaceous Corral This is one of three cheat codes that lets you temporarily unlock a new species. If you name an exhibit Cretaceous Corral, you will be able to adopt the Triceratops. You were actually able to do this in the first game as well, but in the Dino Digs version it starts off as an egg like the other dinos. In the base game, you can simply just place it no problem. The design was even slightly changed in between games. In the second game though, the Triceratops is simply just a placeable creature. Super Croc By naming an exhibit Super Croc, you are able to adopt the Dino Suchus. What's really interesting about this one though is that you are able to permanently unlock it without the code. By completing the final Dino Dig scenario, the T-Rex breeding one, it will remain always purchasable in the market. Of course in the second game, Dino Suchus is not as hidden, being placeable at 4.5 stars. Xanadu. The final hidden animal, this one being more obscure. Naming an exhibit Xanadu allows you to place the unicorn, which is considered a normal zoo animal. Xanadu is the name of some 1980s movie I've never heard of. The Money Key. Simply put, by holding Shift and 4, you can gain $10,000 for your zoo. So by holding it down, you can make your park Jeff Bezos rich in no time. This works in both modes, but causes fences to break down. The developers for some reason made it the same cheat code to do that command, so make sure you do this before placing any animals. Magnet. This is an included species in the first game that has confused many. Well, Magnet is actually a polar bear that lived at the Baltimore Zoo from 1991 until his death in 2015. Apparently a contest was held to see what real life animal could be downloaded for the game, and he won. But if this game was released today, I could definitely think of some choice recognizable animals for it like Manicore the White Tiger, Harambe the Lowland Gorilla, and Travis the Chimpanzee. The animation for Magnet even includes him cuddling his big red ball. Yet since he is seen as a separate species, you can place both male and female versions of him. Yellow Brick Road This is a temporarily unlockable object which is obtained by placing a lion, Bengal tiger, and grizzly bear in the same exhibit together. It's obviously based on the famous line from 1939's Wizard of Oz, and actually looks pretty cool. But if you leave your game, the item won't show up in your market, so pretty much you have to do it all over again. Iceberg Unlockable many don't know about, as it can only be obtained for winning the Excellence in Arctic Construction Award. It pretty much entails making highly suitable exhibits for various Arctic animals, including the Woolly Mammoth, Beluga, Arctic Wolf, Pacific Walrus, Lion's Mane Jellyfish, Woolly Rhino, Narwhal, and Polar Bear. With this, you unlock a new type of rock, being this massive iceberg, and gaining half a million dollars. So yeah, an entry for an iceberg chart bound an iceberg. Trio Statue The final object obtained through scenarios in the first game. You win it by completing the Super Zoo scenario, which only came out the complete collection. This one is all about diversity, as you must make a zoo containing normal zoo animals, dinosaurs, and marine creatures. The trio statue itself shows this being of an African elephant, orca, and T-Rex posing together. 
Going Deeper Endangered Baby Statue This is a non-purchasable item in the Second Zoo Tycoon. Similar to the extinct animal fossils that guests can build, you unlock it by breeding 10 different endangered species, and the statue depicts a stork and various at-risk species. Marine Show Statues Same sort of deal, but for this first game, these are statues which can be obtained by gaining a specific yearly profit for certain marine show animals. $5,000 for a sea lion show, $15,000 for an orca show, and $20,000 for a bottlenose dolphin show. DS Ports This is referring to various lower quality ports made for the Nintendo DS during the mid-2000s. The first was simply called Zoo Tycoon DS, released on October 11, 2005. What's weird is that the second game and one of its expansions had already come out at that point. This port is more limited and only allows you to place 20 exhibits in your park. Some bonus animals are included, like this type of cattle and, I shit you not, the Asiastic Wild Ass, a type of horse. Also, the unicorn is included here. The sequel, called Zoo Tycoon 2 DS, was released on February 5, 2008, not too long before Ultimate Collection. It's the same sort of deal, but with better graphics. This is also the only appearance of the Yeti and Unicorn in the second game, along with the Triceratops and Sabertooth using his appearance from the first game. Akiyama By naming a guest this, you will automatically complete every single scenario. However, the three prizes won are not obtained, so you must complete the certain scenarios still. I actually have no idea what Akiyama is referring to. I assumed, though, that it's this Japanese mixed martial artist. Bill Clinton By naming a guest this, the demand for hamburgers will go up. It's a good example of this game's humor, since obviously Bill loves his buns. Alfred Hitchcock Naming a guest Alfred H. will cause all of the birds flying over the park to begin attacking everybody. Of course, this is a reference to Hitchcock's 1960s movie, The Birds. Pretty simple. Zeta Psy Naming a guest this will make some of the other guests puke. It's for some reason named after fraternity from the University of New York. So I guess the connection is that frat boys are partying and puking all the time. Heavy Melody Music This is a big music company that apparently, according to the endgame credits, made the amazing music for it. Like, seriously, have you heard any of these? The title song is actually so damn good and catchy. Especially the one for Ultimate Collection, which gives you so many emotions throughout it. In fact, the music is so good I've been using it throughout this entire video. Go listen to them yourself, you can easily find them on YouTube. Changes made between expansions. This is referring to various changes made in between the different expansions. First, the Triceratops, which mainly changed in color when adapted for dino digs. For Marine Mania, they made it so various aquatic and semi-aquatic animals from the base game had new icons. They also made new animations for when they swim in tanks. Even some of the dino digs creatures had this change made. The California sea lion was also made into a show animal, with the star added to its icon to reflect this. The only cases and changes for the second game were from the Dino Danger Pack, which I already mentioned. Frozen Waters Killer Penguin Now some of you are probably thinking, why is the Killer Penguin so deep on the iceberg? Well, I feel like many don't even know the lore behind it and the reason for its creation. This foul beast was influenced by a glitch in the first game, where the Emperor Penguin is counted as a dangerous predator and could kill herbivores. The killer penguin is considered an extinct penguin species and can be obtained in two ways. One is from challenge mode where you are asked if you want a free penguin. Always say no to this, as that will end up being the killer penguin. The other method is through the extinct research lab. If you fail at it, there is a small chance you can get an egg from one. Once being placed, it will wreak havoc and possibly escape. This monster was able to kill any other creature in the game, even the T-Rex. A few other interesting things to note. First is that while you can't adopt it, the killer penguin is coded as a 5 star animal, and is considered to be the rarest animal in the game. While considered extinct, it's the only fictional animal in Zoo Tycoon 2, and can replace the scientist in a lab minigame. Finally, the game says it comes from Madagascar, which is an obvious reference to the penguins of Madagascar. Hink Elephant Disease This is one of a few diseases present in the Extinct Animals game. It can occur to any of the four elephant species in the game, mainly the Dwarf Sicilian Elephant. The main side effect, of course, being that they turn a bright pink color. This is caused by the equally pink Pursuit Ball, and is cured by cotton candy of all things. There are other weird diseases and cures present, but this is the most noteworthy one. Mods 
This is referring to the abundance of mods made for the second game during the latter half of the 2000s, mainly those made for new creatures and building systems, one closer to planet zoos, that were showcased in various early YouTube videos, which were primitive yet nostalgic to me. The main channel for these seems to be Greenhorn Films, who uploaded a showcase of all their mods they have. Another channel called Dinko Smash features one of the most nostalgic videos of all time for me, where they simply build an exhibit for the Pteranodon. And this is how I first heard the song Rise Up by Yves La Rock. It's definitely primitive, but I love it dearly. If you want to watch it, it's on a playlist I made called My Favorite Videos. As a kid though, I never really figured out how to install these, but the mods many made seem glitchy, so... The Invasion Similar to the last entry, this is a series of older YouTube videos from by the channel, Danny Bob, but many will previously know him as Stalker2k7, and the channel was still active up until a year ago. The first episode of The Invasion was uploaded in January 2008, and it would last 10 episodes. The final part is uploaded two months later in March, and the new series titled The Rise of Evil began later that month. These are made by making strange landscapes and exploring them in the first person mode, while text was displayed on screen to act as a dialogue. Other series made on the channel include The Mysterious Island, The Things from Ozland Swamp, Lake Okanagan Monster, and The Haunting of Darkwood Forest. I could have mentioned other old Zoo Tycoon 2 channels, but this was the main hub of bizarre content many 2000s kids like myself watched. Stokiosaurus of Glasses Another gaffe included in Extinct Animals is the Stokiosaurus's hidden intellect. If you place a painting easel in its enclosure, there's a chance it might sport these dapper looking glasses and begin to paint. This is even hinted in a Zoopedia page, which is how many people found out about it. A page existed on the website where a Stokiosaurus is interviewed. Here he explains why he wears glasses, being that it makes him see better and look smarter. Jellyfish Performers A more well hidden easter egg in that the lion's mane jellyfish is actually able to perform in shows. This is surprising because, well, it's a fucking jellyfish. Brainless beings whose only trick here is to swim up and swim down. Most don't know about it since they don't have a star on their icon, which signifies that they can perform on marine shows. Zoo Tycoon Friends This is a really obscure game in the franchise. Zoo Tycoon Friends was a free-to-play game made available on Windows 8 and various Windows phones on October 13th, 2014. The main reason for its obscurity was because the computer version was only available in the countries of Trinidad and Tobago, two island nations off the coast of South America. The game was only available for a limited time and was taken off the Windows Store on December 10th. Then the service for it would be removed on April 28, 2015. The mobile version was only up for a few days after release, but it was seemingly available in the United States. It was pretty similar in style to the Xbox game where there were also similarities to the second game though a lot of information is not known. But it did seem to have a better animal selection in the Xbox game. I will definitely go more into detail with this in a future video on a lost media list or even its own video. Let me know which one you prefer. Weird Magazine Adverts This is just pointing out the various odd print advertisements for the games. First, here's one of the headline, it's like running any other business except the snakes are easier to recognize. An even stranger one reads, Hey mom, the lions ate Grandpa Milton. Rep to Milton, he will be missed. Another for Marine Mania just has an elephant seal chilling in this car next to a baby, which is a massive hazard if you know how powerful these can be. The final one I'll point out is this one where Willie is flying out of the roof. It's knocking futz and I love it. The Abyss Money Cheat Now there have been many videos of people using various sketchy softwares to obtain lots of money in Zoo Tycoon 2, but now I present you the most viable option for doing so. On June 15, 2012, a YouTuber named Zoo Tycoon Won't Help uploaded this video where he explores a glitch that happens involving Jeep tour gates. You see, if you place the roads vertically like this and then take a cheap fence and turn them into a gate, you can sell them for more money. This is because the gate costs more and by turning something cheap into them, voila. And by doing this repeatedly, you can give yourself an upper hand in completing all the scenarios. This video and method in general are really obscure though, so I'm glad to shed some more attention to it. Glitches. Like with many games, glitches occur and are usually fixed with later updates, such as misaligned objects, walking through things, animals stacking on top of each other, and the base game crashing when trying one of the exhibit cheats. But the weirdest one is with the Yeti, who was originally intended to be an easter egg animal similar to the unicorn. 
but instead it can be adopted at all times, even in scenarios that limit what animals you can purchase. Concept art. Of course, like of other games, there is some weird concept art from the games. Some of the first games show these CG animals before the pixelation, and it looks really weird. In the second game, a lot of the art is 2D and can be found in the credits for the game. Some of these feel like ship posts, with one including fake cursing. It is really cool though to see how various aspects of the games came to be. Mobile Port This is definitely the most obscure game in the franchise, and probably the worst. There's a tie-in mobile game for the Second Suit Tycoon, where you completed photo challenges to gain a special code. Only 8 animals are included, but not much info was known about it, not even on the Zoo Tycoon wiki. Just that it was released in 2005 and a small bit of footage. It actually resembles the first game, which confuses me to why they promote the second game with it. The only other thing to note is that a prize came with completing it, which is something done a little bit for the actual game. Asiatic Black Bear This is a really mysterious and confusing addition to the second game that most players aren't even aware about. It's the fifth downloadable animal that can seemingly only be obtained by completing the mobile version's Photo challenges, but this bear was never updated following future releases of the series. Many glitches and errors occur because of this, leading it to not be included in Ultimate Collection. It wasn't even until 2016 when a user on the wiki, Horse14T, remastered the Asiatic Black Bear. Ghosts. And finally, we end on an apparent glitch that turns Zoo Tycoon into a lame creepypasta. Apparently after an animal dies in the second game, you might see them as transparent or barely visible ghosts. Spooky, right little Tim Tim? Despite the rumors, this has been disproved by Blue Fang Games. Some theorize that this rumor occurred due to modders, who purposely did this for fun. But who knows? Maybe there are actual ghost animals haunting us from beyond the grave.